the turntable strobe, man's best friend when it comes to adjusting turntable speed. Typically, you'd use this on a lamp that runs at utility frequency, whether it's 50 hertz or 60 hertz, and you have the matching strobe for it. And you adjust the trimmer or pitch control on this one until the lines appear still, like this. If they go too backwards, it's running too slow. If it runs too forward, it's too fast. But if they appear almost still, then you got it near the correct speed. But if they appear completely still, then you got the correct speed. That was 33 and now we're on 45 and you can see it is running a little slower. And then 78. What if you don't have a strobe? Now, if you have access to an iPhone, you could get this on the App Store turntable later for only $1.99. And you could run it and it will tell you the speed that you're using based on its own technology. So you run the app, select the speed that you want. In this case, we're gonna use auto. We're gonna do a quick mode and then you hit spin and place the phone on the turntable. Now, it's gonna take a few seconds for it to calculate the speed you're going at. And it's fairly accurate within range. Although it did show it upside down, but there you have it. Thirty three point three RPM. Now if you want a more thorough reading, take the phone out, go to menu, set it to exact, spin, and repeat the process again. It will take longer than usual, but it'll get it done. And you see that the screen tries to stabilize, but it does take a bit when you do exact mode. And it's pretty accurate, as I said. Thirty three point twenty one RPM. Take the phone out and then I want to do 45. So let's do that again. We're going to use exact mode again for this 45 reading. And you can see how it cleverly stabilizes the image so you can read it easier instead of having to throw your head around although in this case it's showing it upside down because of the platter that this dual has Four five point oh one RPM. So it's within range. A little fast, but not that much. So let's try on another turntable and see how the results differ. Now this is a more typical setup. Your typical suitcase record player that's very ubiquitous with many record player newbies unless they've done their research and find themselves a decent player but otherwise 
this is just your typical suitcase record player most of them being the Crosley Cruiser this one's just a magnet box but it's still the same platform so let's do it on quick mode and auto so let's put it on 33 and see what this gets thirty four RPM Now let's do forty five Spin again Forty six RPM, so it is running a bit too fast. Unfortunately, this app doesn't support 70 RPMs because when you try it, all right, that didn't work out well. So let's put this little mat on and try it again. It doesn't even detect it. And the same thing applies to 6 and 2 third RPM. So let's try a different player to see how the results vary. Now let's try this 1970s Teletone record player. And let's do a spin. Say hello snow. Hello snow. So joining at 33.9 RPM, a little faster, as I would expect. This is actually a BSR mechanism. So let's now try it up 45 speed. And let's do a spin again. There goes another feather. Now if your phone keeps slipping off the platter, especially if it's a plastic platter, you'll want to use a little rubber mat and that should help with the speed. Right here you see it's 45.8 RPM. So it tells you an exact reading of how fast it's going. So now let's try another record player, another vintage one. Now don't deny it, most of you probably had one of these as a teenager in the 80s or 90s if you were a 70s kid. and. This is a typical sound design of the late 1980s. And let's see how that t fares well. 33 RPM. Oh, 33, Let's do 45. Let's hope that phone doesn't slip out of the cheap plastic platter. And there I have it. And now for my 1970s BSR changer a BSR C 123R1 that's on my Sony PS77 plinth so let's give it a spin and see what results I get with this spin and we're on 33 and one third Surprisingly, it's at 33.0 RPM, a little slower than usual. Now, let's try it on 45.
44.7 RPM, so it's running a little slower today. Normally these run a little faster than usual, but hey, that's this one. Now let's try uh, the last one. And now let's try this one. The ALI turntable, which is basically a cheap Technics knockoff. So let's see how fast this is going at 33. point rpm and you can see the little strobe on this one that it does run a little slower now let's do 45 rpm let's do spin again and while I was calculating the speed Four point eight RPM. And now let's see in the strobe again. It is running a little slower, but the weight on this phone is almost close to that of a one eighty gram vinyl, so it's pretty acceptable. And so far, that's it for the testing.